ever feel like you're not good enough or maybe you just don't have it in you, that natural thing inside of you to really go to the next level and be successful. In this video, we're gonna talk about how anyone can bust through this and go to the next level. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome to the first video of the 10 Day King Challenge. I've been coaching collectively 17 years, worked with athletes, multimillionaires, CEOs, but now I work with mostly personal trainers, coaches, mentors, and people who want to brand themselves and be, create the most impact and income in their business. And so I would have to be deaf, dumb, blind, and completely stupid to not see that there's a pattern that stops people on this planet. And it has nothing to do with being gifted with the almighty gift in whatever you guys feel like it is. And so I want to identify some of those things that people get stuck on and what really separates those who do get to the next level and those who don't. Uh, before we really go in and, and talking about the mind and body, okay, I want to uh, tell you about the study. So they did a study with these uh, high schoolers and they gave everyone a personality test and they filled out all the questions right turned it in and then they got it back a week later and 97 percent of them said that this accurately defines who they are but here's the funny thing everyone got back the same answers everyone got back the same answers so what does that really tell you okay what it tells me and what i've really identified over the years is we are not first defining who we are on the inside, which is why we don't feel enough sometimes. And then the second problem is now that we haven't identified who we are as a person, okay, we're not doing the things that we really want to do in our life. Okay, we're doing it for other people. And so I want to talk about the different components on how do we really switch that? How do we turn that around? How do we redefine ourselves as a person and really do the things that we want to do in this world? And so I created this chart, okay, that I want to go over you. Everyone talks about mindset, but I'm going to talk about how important the body really is. And when I say body, I mean actions, I mean behaviors, uh, I mean patterns. So in this 10-day challenge, you have specific patterns that you're supposed to do. Okay, you're supposed to be listening to a podcast, reading a book, okay, going to the gym. So these are patterns, okay? Then there's certain mindset exercises that we're going to be digging into. And so your goal is to get both the mind and body in alignment. When the mind and body in alignment, okay, we move forward faster. We're clear on who we are. We know exactly what to do. We move forward faster. That's exactly where you want to be. That's an A. Okay. And then, you know, this is the one that gets a little controversial with people, and I'll tell you about that. What I've really identified with clients over the years is Sometimes we, they take on this new mindset that, okay, I'm good enough. I can go out there, a coach, I can speak, I can start this business. I can ask that girl out on a date, right? But when they don't do actions to support the beliefs, what happens over time is that belief starts to drop. And then they continually don't talk to girls or they don't speak or they don't coach or they hesitate starting the business. And then it drops again and drops and drops to the point where they don't even believe it anymore and not that they don't even believe it, their confidence in who they are as a person has significantly went down because they didn't follow through on the action to support the beliefs. So the next way is, okay, when the body, when you're doing the patterns, actions and behaviors, okay, is actually more important than just having the mindset and no body, okay? Obviously, no mind, no body, they're not in alignment, we get a D. Okay, so the goal is how do we align that mind and body, okay? And the first thing is, is you have to see the power within you. You have to see your identity, okay? We have to receive compliments. We have to receive what people are telling us that are great. And we have to be willing to take the negative criticism that we get and reframe those. Because what I've identified with clients over the years is that they're still operating off an identity that they were told when they were five years old, when they were seven years old, you were fat, you were stupid, you can't read, you're not good enough, okay? So much of our minds and bodies and the way we act today 
is subconscious programming before we even became conscious. And when most people become conscious is usually around the six to seven years old is where we actually start to retain memory, right? So usually when I have a client that's struggling to go into the next level, we have to program patterns inside their body, okay? And start getting them to act even though if they don't fully believe it, okay? The brain works off evidence. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. The brain works off evidence, okay? And if you're not in experiencing it, doing it, doing the actions, okay, you're definitely not gonna believe it. So that's why I put that here, all right? So your pattern interrupt exercise is, I want you to start to receiving more compliments on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually when people say, oh, you look great today, or I love your, love your, uh, the way you dressed, or I just think you're so amazing, you're such a good human being or whatever else it is, we sometimes, no, that's not it, and we push it away. And then when people say, oh, you suck, yeah, I know, and we, so we're taking on this negative criticism, and then we're pushing away these compliments, and then we wonder why we struggle at the end of the day. Okay, so your pattern interrupt again is, I want you to reframe the negativity, okay, and I want you to take in the positivity, take in and accept what people are saying to you, and then I want you to take some time and journal down, okay, what's the one identity you need to take on? What's the power you need to see within yourself? And then what's the action that you need to do in order to support that belief, okay? So do this exercise, guys. Uh, drop your comments below. Let me know how it goes. Be inspired. Be next gen. The world needs you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.